Hello, and welcome back to the Fantasy Guild. Any veteran World of Warcraft player will remember fighting out in Elwyn Forest against Hogger. Hogger was this kind of badass knoll back in the day where you had to kind of party up with the players around you and you had to fight together to take him down in the open world. It was a really special memory for me growing up. I got to relive it through classic World of Warcraft that recently came out. And that memory has inspired me today to make this video for you. You see recently I have purchased uh, a bunch of Knoll models because I really want to try and encapsulate that moment, that memory from fighting Hogger and I want to put it into an upcoming one shot that I have. You see Knolls are these gnarly destructive beastmen that work together in packs all for one purpose and that purpose is to loot, pillage and destroy. So this is why these guys are the perfect enemies to throw against your party. Today's model is from Artisan Guild. This is one of the Bone Nasher Knolls. But before I reveal the model and get going with the painting, as always we have a stat sheet ready for you. So you know the score, pause the video, screenshot, Make a note of it, and feel free to throw some knolls at your party. So we're gonna start off with some Wildwood Contrast paint. I'm just gonna slather this all over, everywhere there's fur or skin, essentially, just to give it a nice base coat, and it already kind of highlights the definition for me. Creed Camo Contrast Paint and this is going to be for all the kind of material, the fabric that is based around the model. As you can see, the brown and the green contrast really well together. Then we're just going to use this Death Guard Green to kind of go over any of the edges, just giving it a bit of a highlight. This will really help the model pop. And also we'll just go over any areas that the green contrast paint has pulled together. Yeah, we're going to use this brown just to do the same thing essentially, which is just to give it a bit of an edge highlight. And you can see there, now that everything has been kind of brought out with those lighter colours, it's starting to give the model a bit more of a dynamic look. So moving on to Angaro Flesh. Uh, we're going to use the dry brushing technique. Rakarath Flesh, so this is going to be for any of the kind of linen material that's on the model. And some Mordfang Brown, this is going to be for like any wood or leather that I've got. So things like the belt. quiver for the arrows and then the bow itself. Ushanti Bone says it in the name. Anything that is bone on the model we're going to be just going over with that. Wow flesh, the good old orc coloured skin. We're going to be using this actually for any armour plates. It's a darker shade of green so again it's just using those different colours to give the model a more dynamic look. An Agrax earth shade. So we're just going to be generously applying a coat of this right across any of the kind of wood or linen or leather materials and this just kind of helps it give it a bit of a shine but also tie it all together. These two reds I'm going to be using for the little health potion he's got attached to his belt. And I went for brass because I didn't think you know a knoll would have anything too overly shiny so this is kind of more like a coppery brass type of colour which is more rusty I guess, rustic. And finally the Fire Dragon Bright. This is for the eyes and with this final step we're done. And there we have it, we have uh, our first Knoll Mini painted up and 
ready to go on the tabletop. So as I said, I have a couple other of these models in different poses with different weapons. I have a couple of like heroes, like mini bosses that are part of the, the Bone Nasher Knoll pack from Arson Guild. So I am really, really excited to paint those up and they will be coming on to this channel very soon. But guys, I just want to take a real quick moment just to say thank you so much for all your support, for the subscribers, the likes, the views. This past week has been a whirlwind and I have absolutely loved doing this. Getting to share my passion of miniature painting and D&D, combining that and getting to share it with you guys as we build this community together. So let me know down in the comments below, would you have went for a different paint scheme? Would there be anything you would do differently? But that's it for this episode guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.